Lure everybody. Welcome to the Countdown to Christmas Drop Hop Sale, hosted by Rachel at Manor House Vintage. This is a pre recorded sale. If you've never attended a dropped sale, this is how it will work. I will show an item, I will describe it, then I will give you an item number and a price. First person to put that item number in the comments will be awarded the item. I will need a few pieces of information from you to complete the transaction. I will need your PayPal email, your regular email, your name, and your mailing address. I will be shipping out of Nebraska. The price of the item does not include shipping. Shipping will be calculated based on where you live. You will receive an invoice that will include the price of the item along with the shipping. I should have all shipping invoices sent out by Wednesday of next week. Okay guys, without further ado, Let's see what I've got today. Okay, guys. First item I have for you is a glass beaded Christmas bracelet. So each bead is painted with a snowman. Um, then you have one that's just an ornament. You had a Christmas tree, another ornament, a stocking, snowflake, ornament, Christmas tree, and some snowmen. So this is a stretch bracelet, so you just pull it on to wear it. Um, it's about three and a half inches um, in the opening, if that helps. So this bracelet can be yours for $8, number 32. $8, number 32. All right. Next we have are a set of Christmas towels and salt and pepper shakers. So these towels have a Santa and Mrs. Claus on them. Uh, they are 100% cotton. They are um, by Deborah Conley Designs. They've never been used, from what I can tell. Um, are really nice. Have a nice thick uh, feeling to them. Um, I'm really picky about my towels, so I think these would be very um, absorbent. With those towels, you will get the salt and pepper shaker of Santa and his packages. These are made in Taiwan. There are no chips or cracks. The cold paint is in excellent, excellent condition. Um, there is um, a tiny, tiny uh, spot right there where it was not glazed but overall doesn't detract from its appearances as you know most people are just using these for decoration so I thought they were super cute so the towels and the shakers can be yours for $12 number 12 $12, number 12. All right. Let's 
like, where to put everything? There's so much on this table. I had to come to my kitchen table because it was just too, too much to uh, deal with. Okay. Next item is from my personal collection. Um, I, I absolutely love pottery, but these don't fit in my color scheme anymore. I, I would love to keep them, but, um, you know, as with anything, you just have to let things go. You can't keep it all. So this is a set of Polish pottery bells. So let me get this one. You can see the pottery mark. No chips or cracks, no crazing at all. This is the full bell, again, with the pottery mark and the handle. Like I said, no chips, no cracks. Excellent, excellent condition. So you could have these two bells for $14, number 37. $14, number 37. Okay. Now, let's see. What else can we do? Um, how about some postcards? I have some antique postcards. They are all sleeved, and you will get them in their sleeves. Um, this one is a Merry Christmas with the holly. This one has not been used. Um, it is an older one, you can tell, because it's a uh, one cent stamp. So uh, these were all from the same estate. Uh, so I do know that, that it is an antique postcard. Again, this is another one that has not been used. And I, I love the graphics on here. It's a little boy hunting with a horseshoe, and the holly, and the ice dripping off with a bird. I just thought that was really sweet. Again, it is an unused postcard. Then we have another Christmas one, and this one is a raised postcard. So when I say it's raised, um, let's see, let me take it out of the sleeve a little bit. You can tell how the design is raised up. I try not to touch these too much with my fingertips because, you know, they are old. So um, I don't want to do any damage. This one is a German postcard, and it says December 25th. And then the last one that you will get is a, another German postcard, and it is a New Year's postcard. You have the windmill, you have the horseshoe, uh, you have what looks like blue bonnets, and it says good luck into the New Year. And uh, this does have some writing but it does not have a postage stamp. So, you will get all four of these antique postcards for $8, number 41. $8, number 41. Okay. Next, we have a sweet little bunny planter. And the bunny, look how happy he is. He's so happy, he's thumping his leg. He was skiing, delivering the mail. It's an excellent, excellent condition. It is a Japan piece. Does have right here 
just a glaze skip. It is not a chip, it is a glaze skip on it. But look how adorable he is. He's so excited to be lit delivering the mail. So this bunny can be yours for $12, number 24. $12, number 24. I have quite a few items tonight, so I'm trying to um, do my best to get through all of them so that you guys will have an opportunity for all of them. Um, next up, this is something I found at the Hoarder Antique Store. It was an antique mall, but I called it a hoarder house because things were piled on the floor. I am not kidding. Just stacked four or six foot off the ground. It was nuts. You had to dig. And then I'd dig things out and the guy was like, nope, that's mine. Nope, that's mine. I'm like, it's on the floor. But I did manage to find a few things. And one of them is this Lucite tidbit tray. Isn't this beautiful? It is a little bit of scuffing at the top, but unless you're like really, really looking at it or you've got it up in the sun, um, you can't really see it much. And, you know, honestly, with Lucite, you are going to have some scuffing. Obviously, someone used it, but there are no chips, no cracks in it. It does have a flathead screw. I will um, attempt to take this apart for shipping, but if it's on here too tight, which you can see somebody at one point did tighten it too, too tight, or maybe it came like that, I'm not sure. But um, if I can't get it apart, I'm not gonna force it. Um, so I'd rather ship it whole um, than cause any more damage. You. You can't even feel um, those marks, so I'm not really sure when they might have happened on this item. Uh, maybe when they drilled the holes or something. But overall, it's in excellent condition. The silver is not tarnished. Um, it'd be a beautiful, beautiful addition to your Christmas party or even to, you know, put um, little decorations on it uh, to stage. So this tidbit tray, this Lucite tidbit tray can be yours for $20, number 51. $20, number 51. I love that tray, um, but you can't keep everything. Can you? <laughs> oh, and I did forget to tell you, um, the tray measures, including a handle, about 13 and a half inches, and it is approximately six inches wide. So, uh, again, that is. 13 and a half inches tall and approximately um, six inches wide. Sorry about that. I'm not used to having big stuff. I'm used to having jewelry. <laughs> it's much easier. Alrighty. Um, my next item is a handmade item, which I absolutely love. It is a Christmas tree. Now, I am not keeping this one because I have the one my mother made. Um, so that obviously has a little more sentimental value, something I'll pass down to my children. But I couldn't resist this one when I found it. Look how sweet this is with the candy canes. And it's a big one. This one is approximately 
14 inches tall and 15 inches wide. So 14 by 15. So this tree can be yours for $14, number five. $14, number five. Alrighty. Next, we have a music box. Now, this is a Franklin Mint music box called the Nutcracker. These were commissioned for the Russian Ballet. Uh, they are Franklin Mint. They are edged in 14 karat gold. See the, okay, all safe. You can see the bottom called the Nutcracker. It is a music box, so inside you can hear it. Oops. So how classic is Christmas with the Nutcracker? I don't know how many of you go see the Nutcracker when it's performing at Christmas time, but that's something I used to do all the time. So this, um, the series was commissioned in 1988. There's about 12 boxes in the entire series. And this music box can be yours for $20, number 48. $20, number 48. These are perfect little gifts for someone, especially like a little girl or something. Alrighty, next we have is another item from my personal collection and I just absolutely adore this. Um, this was very hard for me to let go of this item, but with everything you can't keep it all. So this is a Dalla welcome sign and I picked it because it, it's in Christmassy colors, red. Um, I like to decorate with my Dalla horses um, and it still has its original label on the back. Um, it's very lightweight. It's got a little hanger so you can hang it from your door. Um, unfortunately, my front door gets a ton of sun, so um, this um, really was a problem because it would just get too hot and um, it just would bang, you know, a bit um, because we get so many high winds. So um, it'll be perfect, um, like right at your front entrance if you have a covered porch or something is probably where I would put it. So this item can be yours for $12, number 29. $12, number 29. Kind of rambled on that, but that's okay. All right, next we have is a set of Homeco figures. And, you know, Homeco, put it in your home, the Mary Beth's Jingle. <laughs> if y'all aren't familiar, you should go see uh, Mary Beth's Jingle or Homeco. So, I have a pair of skating bunnies. And they do still have their tags. There are no chips, no cracks on these. These are in excellent, excellent condition. They are just skating around, having their best life ever. Um, they're about uh, almost four inches tall. So they're, they're substantial little figures, but they're adorable. I don't often see um, you know, skating bunnies 
because why not? So these can be yours for $10, number 66. $10, number 66. Okay, well, I managed to balance those. Let's see if I can balance anything else. But before we do that, I have another set of postcards. Um, these are, again, a set of four antique postcards. This one is Happy New Year. This is large. I think it's so oh, maybe 1918. It's hard to tell. Um, it is a used one, but I just love the subject matter on this. Then we have classic car. This one is 1908. Thought it was just a beautiful, beautiful postcard. And then we have Happy New Year, 1909. This one is raised as well. There's no, uh, it, is, it hasn't been used, but it's just beautiful, beautiful. And then we have Happy New Year, Merry Christmas. Um, this one is from 1909. It's postmarked. So you can have four of these antique postcards for $8, number 60. $8, number 60. Alrighty. Now, I want to make sure I get this one in. Um, so, I alluded to a fairy lamp. I do have a fairy lamp in this sale. This is an Anesco milk glass hand painted fairy lamp. There are no chips, no cracks, no flea bites whatsoever on this fairy lamp. Look at it closer. It does still have its paper label. And again. Now I don't know if the paint has been fired on here, so I would only um, damp wipe it. I don't think I would put it in a sink and um, wash it because I don't know, sometimes the red uh, could be cold paint. I, I am not sure. But again, it is an Inesco fairy lamp. No chips or cracks. This fairy lamp can be yours for $28, number 57. $28, number 57. Alrighty. Well, good. That got included. I really, really wanted to make sure that made the sale. Um, I know fairy lamps can get really outrageous in their pricing, so I really wanted uh, to make sure everybody has an opportunity to get a fairy lamp because we all need one and they're fantastic at Christmas time. So I hope you enjoy that one because I certainly did, but it's time to thin down my collection. Alrighty. Next is something I have not seen before, or if I have seen them, I didn't know who they were by. These are Ron Jordan designs out of Taiwan, and they are candle huggers. So what you would do, and this candle 
is not included, don't ask, you can't have it, not included, demo purposes only. <laughs> but you would put it on your candlestick. So, and like so. But aren't those little guys cute? I just thought they were super, super adorable. There are no chips, there are no cracks. Their cold paint is in excellent, excellent condition. Let's take a look. They're just hugging that candle for dear life. So, these candle holders can be yours for $10, number 82. $10 number 82. All right, I'm going to take those off because, I don't know, be my luck, they topple over. Can't have that. So, anyway, always make sure your candle is very secure to your base, um, you know, and you could use some museum putty or something to make sure your candle stays in place because you don't want them to fall. Alrighty, next I have is a set of ornaments. And these look like Russian ornaments. So, um, there are seven of the girls. And there are, let's see, three blue santos, a, a girl, and I don't know, something else. But up close, the red, and these look like the Matryoshka dolls, and they have their little hangers on them. And the blue is like this. I don't know where these were made, but we do have a lot of um, Polish and German um, influences here uh, that could very well be Russian. Uh, they do remind me of a Russian um, ornament, uh, but I cannot say for sure. So you will get all of these, and they're made out of wood, and, and they're, um, they're about uh, a little over two inches tall for each one. Um, they're not heavy, they are lightweight, so they should not weigh down a tree. So you will get all of these ornaments for $18, number 93, $18, number 93. Alrighty. And next I have um, is a three Christmas bears. These are home co bears. They all came in the same box, so I have no reason to think they weren't sold that way. Um, you know, it's the, because this little guy was smaller, I thought maybe he was a misfit, but they all fit in that styrofoam container, so I do believe they were all sold together. So we have the Santa bear with the holly. Excellent condition for his cold paint. No chips, no cracks. Still has his home code sticker. And then we have the bear holding the candy cane. Again, excellent condition on his cold paint. Still has his re regular sticker. Original, regular, whatever. Then we have the little girl bear in her dress holding her lantern. Still with her sticker, no chips, no cracks. 
these, oh, and I guess you would like a measurement. These are um, a little over three inches, just a smidge. And this little guy uh, is right at three inches. So these three can be yours for $12, number 19. $12, number 19. Okay guys, that's all I have for y'all tonight. As I mentioned before, I will be sending out invoices by Wednesday. Please be sure to pay promptly so that I can get your packages out as quickly as possible. Now, please go join Beth at Sweet Treats and Pretties to see what goodies she has for sale. And once you're finished with Beth's sale, if you have not seen the other sellers in the Drop Hop, please go back and look at the playlist that I have put in the description and view those sellers' items. I know they have fantastic things and would appreciate any purchases that you make. Bye now!